Hey, what is it today? It's Friday. I'm not going to lie to any of you. I am absolutely exhausted, like cashed. Like I actually looked at the video that I just posted about tools and it's like terrible. <laughs> oh God. Oh man. So like when you're tired and just kind of groggy, um, and maybe not really with it all the time. Um, I was compelled today to reach out to somebody who's actually uh, one of, uh, it's so weird to say this, actually somebody who, let's just say this, somebody who uh, was reaching out um, asking for some help on how to start a yard sign business. It was a wonderful conversation, wonderful woman. And, um, as we were talking about a lot of the things that we're discussing on this channel about um, install tips, about what is it, uh, the types of signs you're going to use, how to make a sign, how do you advertise on Facebook, you know, all those kind of things. I was reminded that you're going to have an opportunity to talk to people. And I want to share this story with you because it's compelling um, and I think because I'm a little tired it might it might affect me uh, but I don't give a shit it might have, uh, let's just be real about it so I mean I I I wanted to start the sign business because it would be a great opportunity to show my kids hard work it'd be a great opportunity hopefully to make some supplemental income it'd be something that my wife could do and we all know what's happened it's for this business, it's a lottery ticket, right? If you take advantage of it. Take advantage of it if you, if you, if you take the opportunity to work hard to get it, is what I'm trying to say. But one of the things I haven't talked about, because I didn't think it would be relevant or even important, is the fact that you're gonna be communicating with a lot of people in your community. I will not talk about angry people and I will not talk about most of the people who are on Facebook. It's not productive. But what I can tell you that I was not prepared for was an opportunity to serve. I want to let you define what serve means in any capacity that you can identify with. Mine might be different than yours. But when I'm saying serve, I'm saying to give freely without expecting anything in return. Something happens when I do that. Many people can say a, many, a, lot, of many, a, a lot of different things. Um, what I can tell you is, is when I have the time to do that and choose to do it, um, I feel a sense of purpose and I feel a sense of belonging that when I'm not thinking about that way, life about that way, I, I don't think about, right? I don't want to be selfish, uh, as I believe that does nobody any good. Um, but I can be, you know, a lot actually. Listen, if we have time to get the general on the show, <laughs> right on the channel, she will tell you plenty of stories where I've been all of the above. Everything that everybody is already familiar with um, and probably have had experience uh, before with, you know, um, uh, a loved one or, or whatnot. Um, so I don't want to take a lot of time, but I want and would like to share with all of you that are seriously considering the yard side business, you're gonna have opportunities to serve. And I wanna share one with you, because it shattered me, shattered me. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm all tired. Um, anyway. So on my website, people can go and 
click on a reservation request form. And on the reservation request form, they can put in a date on when they want their celebration. Oh, it's going to be one of these. All right, they can put a date on when they want their celebration. And so, listen, I'm on my computer all day long, you know, sending texts to people, telling them that I'm not available, or, you know, just constantly communicating with people, because I think that that's important. If you want to know a secret sauce, communicate with people fast, okay? And don't take anything personally, which is impossible, okay? But in this case, I received a reservation request form on a date, and I take their phone number, which is part of what they fill out, I put it in my... Um, app on my uh, computer and I send them a text. The text says, you know, hey Jamie, thanks so much for taking the time to fill out your reservation request form. Hopefully it wasn't that painful. Uh, my name is Rennick from Sign Fairies. I wanted to reach out and let you know that, you know, we don't have anything available for you on the date that you've requested. I might even, I might even say to her she could call a competitor, you know, and tell her that I don't even know who they are. But my point is, you know, you got to reach back out to these people. And if, the quicker you do it, the better off you're going to be. Just my opinion. Okay. So Jessica gets back to me and she says, oh, God, um, that's terrible. And I'm not thinking all that much about it. I'm really not. Um, but what I did notice about her um, request form is that it didn't have an address on it. It may have said the town that I live in. So... Because I took the time to read what she said, I texted her back and I said, can you tell me where this address is for this sign? That It was a welcome home sign. Where this is? Um, she said, no, I can't. I actually have to ask permission from the people first before I can do that. And I was like, okay, why don't you do that? <laughs> so, so um, I think a day goes by. She texts me back again and she says, Hey, I've had a chance to, to connect with the uh, husband, and um, they're okay with me telling you about their situation. And um, can I call you? Something like that. And so she called me on my phone. And uh, I picked it up and she's very nice, wonderful voice. A woman named Jessica, she was like, listen, I'm in the healthcare business, okay? I gotta worry about HIPAA compliance all the time and privacy. I'm not gonna tell you anything about anybody without permission. I'm like, I like that, Jessica. That's a great idea. I'm glad you didn't. She goes, I've talked to the husband now and you know what? I'm gonna be able to tell you what's happening. Maybe you can help me. I said, maybe I can, let's see. So she says to me this, she says, this family is going through some tr a traumatic situation. And they have been out of the house for a long period of time, over three months, and they're in another state. And she says the whole family has been going through some difficult times. So now I'm, now I'm really listening. And she says, um, what we want to do for this family, our neighbors, is because of the COVID virus, right? And because we know, because we're their neighbors, what they're going through, we can't, we can't go over and hug these people. We can't tell them welcome home. So, so we need a sign that says that. Can you help me? Um, yeah. Huh. I'll help you. She says, great, what can you do? I'm like, I don't know. I got to check to see what I have. I don't know what letters I have. So I tell her, I'll call her back. I'm like, <gasps> so... You know, I call, I get up, I run in stairs. I said, Jennifer, you never know what's going to happen. I was talking to this woman. She's like, just what? So I tell her, I said, we need to do something. What do you think we should do? What letters do we have? So we come up with something. It was really simple. 
we love you. <laughs> That's what we came up with. And this woman says to us, says to me on the phone, we want when these people come home to drive home to a sign that lets them feel like they're being hugged. This is happening to me on the phone. This is what this woman says. This is like, stop me in my tracks. I was like, wow. Then she proceeds to tell me what's going on. Not that she had to, but she had permission. And um, je, uh, this woman says to me, um, one of the daughters of this family, the second, this happened to be a second daughter, is going through a bone marrow transplant. And they're in New York and they're going through whatever they're going through. She didn't get a lot of detail, but we want them to come home to a huge hug. And I'm like, I got it. I got you. I can do that. I'm in the sign business. I put signs out. Are you okay if I put, we love you? And I'm going to put like a, a couple purple hearts, a couple red hearts, some presents, you know, and uh, I'll put it in the front yard. She's like, oh my God, that'd be incredible. Could you do that on Saturday? I'm like, yeah, I'll do it on Saturday. Do you have time to do it? I said, no, I have time to do it. I have more time to do that than I will make time for that. Now, I'm sharing this with you not to boast, but I'm sharing this with you because this is an opportunity to serve. Remember, your definition of serving. Um, she says to me, how much do I pay you for this? I was like, nothing. I can't have you pay me for that. So, anyway, what ends up happening is, is my wife, actually, I got to get her credit for this, the general, I was telling her this. She says, tell this woman that whatever she was going to pay us, we charge $90, to take that money and go buy food, put it in their fridge. So when they come home, not only are they have a huge hug, but they're going to have something to eat. What's better than a full belly and a big ass hug? Let me tell you right now, nothing. So that's what we were going to do. Now, in the meantime, I'm not reflecting on it like I am now. Obviously, you can tell how impactful it was for me. I'm not truly grasping everything that's happening. And it wasn't until that I actually was on this person's property and installing the sign that I stood back and I looked at it and I was like, I think this is pretty good. <laughs> so I took a picture of it and I sent it to the, to the woman who told me about this family and she was just like, oh my God, this is exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what this family needs. Ah, okay. So, um, she tells me that they're not going to be back till I don't know what seven o'clock that night, whatever it happens to be. And um, the next day, I text this woman. I say, "Hey, how did everything go?" She's like, "You have no idea. No idea." no idea what's happening what's happening to these people they want to meet you <laughs> I just want to start a sign business anyway I don't know how much longer I can do this but I go and I pick up this sign. And 
I meet these people. And I got to see their faces. I got to see how grateful they were. I got to see the joy in their face. I got to meet all of them. And I got to hear how thankful they were for my son. Listen, I beg you, from the bottom of my heart, that you be open to this kind of stuff. <laughs> There's so much, so much negativity going on right now that it's exhausting. So while you're doing your day, and you're renting signs and you're talking to moms and you're talking to dads and you're talking to these kind of people. Just be open to having conversations like this. I'm not gonna lie to you, it fucking shattered me. I told the lady that I met, I was like, I gotta go to my truck. I'll be right back. I, I gotta go cry. I did, like I am right now. I was totally shattered by how incredible they were just how strong and how resilient as a matter of fact their youngest daughter she was so enamored by the signs the presence the purple presence was such a great icebreaker she's like can i help you put your signs away i was like of course you can which one do you want to grab you know i love it we got to talk and took a picture with them and a sign just want to start a side business celebration side business so let me ask you this question how important do you think that sign was to that family how important it was everything it was everything that they needed and I told this woman no I'm busy I got shit to do I'm putting signs out I'm running around crazy no. Listen. Let's make this perfectly clear. Just be open to it. That's all. Anyway, what a freaking rant. What a rant. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Hopefully that's good enough. <laughs> uh, but, you know, thank you. Thank you, guys. This is just, I don't even know what to say. And I got work to do, and I'm tired. That's probably got something to do with it. I'm tired, and I just want to go take a nap, and I think I'm going to. But, like, there's stuff to do, you know? So, uh, that's it. Just be open. And um, be ready and willing to serve in any capacity that you define it to give freely without expecting anything in return. If you can do that, nothing in return. If you can do that, that would be my ask of you. If you could not expect anything in return by giving somebody something, that would be incredible. I'd be curious to see how you felt after you did that. So, not a requirement, just the effort. Take the shot. All right, guys, have a great day. Make it happen.